Okay, I'm just going to keep coming. So I've got this quarter inch line here. And that's what I'm going to end up using. I know I'm going to need one right here. I'm going to cut that right there. Put my bubbler on there. My inline bubbler. That way I can keep putting more on this same line. Okay, yeah, you can do that. See, this has been in the garage for so long. I should have, what I should have done was taken it out in the sun today and let it heat up and then straighten it out a little bit. But I didn't. Oh well. Okay, now hold it there and I guess I'll put another bubbler right there You don't want it curled that way just take this and twist it and curl it the way you want it to curl and then like I say we may have to we may have to uh, put it down into the dirt right there when I get ready for that okay but in the meanwhile I can hold that about there and I know the next one's gonna be here and then I can kind of loop the next one over to there right okay so I can I can put that up on the uphill side of that. I'm kind of liking right like that. This is going to give it plenty of water. You could put, there's all kinds of different bubblers. You could put a sprayer up. The thing with sprayers is um, you're going to encourage weed growth everywhere. prepared for that plus when you put sprayers earwigs and little creepy crawlers like to find those they have a tendency of finding those areas and they get plugged up now and again you're constantly going out there checking on that you know okay I can hold the next one up and I know I'm gonna keep it on the uphill side because I know the water once the water hits there it's gonna go down and then I can direct that up that way, so I'm gonna hold that, you know, right up in there. Cut it off right there. I'll let the this pipe do a little work for me in angling it the direction that I want. It seems as though it's curled, it's not gonna defeat me. No way. Bye Joe. Ha. <laughs> okay. Got that set up like that. Now, now where? Where she stops, nobody knows. Okay, let's just keep her going, shall we? You're getting the you're getting the idea with this. Yeah, Joe, come on, yeah, I know how to do it now. Okay, well maybe you didn't know how to do it before. I'm just showing you how easy this can be. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go up around like that. Okay, I'll hold that there. Let the angle do the dangle for me. I'm gonna put it right there. You hire a landscaper. He's gonna charge you lots of money to do this. Do it yourself even. You know, you didn't know you could. Because the existing line was already in, you weren't sure how to get the water on, you weren't sure how to tap into it and all that. But guess what? Now you know, don't you? Okay. See, you see the pattern here? There's a drip for there, here's one for here, here's one for here, here's one. I'm gonna 
put a rock down on that, whatever. Now I'm going to loop that. That's going to be about there. And so the next one's going to be right up in there. I got plenty of these. I got. Tw I ended up getting 25. I thought I was going to have plenty, but I'm using quite a few, aren't I? That's all right. About eight, nine bucks for 25 of the inline ones. Okay, that's going to be about there. And let's take this one over to here, shall we? I think we'll loop. We'll loop this next one this way, and then I'm going to get this over there as well. Okay. Almost done. All right, this was kind of a, a little project in itself, getting all this done, and I'm getting it done before dark messing around let me tell you okay have that right there and <laughs> look at that looks like I planned out this job just about right I hardly have any pipe left I was hoping not to have to go to the store and get any more okay so now I can hold that like that and this one I'm gonna I'm gonna dig and put it into the, into the ground so no one can see it so I can kind of loop it up there and maybe put one right about there. <laughs> Just, did you hear that? It was a little hummingbird that came over here. Oh, my mom's got a, she just put a hummingbird feeder in. And there's one feeding off of it. I don't know if you're, you're going to be able to see it or not. It's right over there. There he is. There he is. We made a mixture. It was two to one. Uh, two cups of water and one cup of sugar. And then we boiled some water and then put the sugar in there. And that was the mixture. Some people go three to one. Actually, I don't know. We might have done, done three to one. You can go two to one, too. Isn't that awesome? Well, we weren't quite sure if he was going to find that, but there's hummingbirds all over the place, and we didn't see any for three or four days. This is right outside my mom's window in her little study area, and she can look out there and see the little hummingbirds. How cute. All right, let's get back to it.